Jack has always been a fun-loving, a good young man, willing to help. Yeah, I mean, I've always been like that. It just got masked a lot over the years. So, yeah, before that evil twin came out. There was just too much going on in his life for him to handle. And his escape was his bottom. I was in a job that I didn't really care for a whole lot. I was kind of trapped. I was, I, uh, I just freaked out it, to the point I, I tried to take my own life. When he was drinking, I didn't know him. In fact, a lot of times I was afraid of him. I was kind of a big shot for whatever reason. I got kind of a fat head, kind of arrogant. I guess not violent by any means, but just kind of arrogant. Like, I, it's hard to explain really. I was, I was a different person. I could see my son killing himself and I couldn't do anything. And he just had to hit the ultimate low and find some help and admit that he had a problem. Oh, it was uh, without a desperation, man. I, I, I needed something. I knew I needed to do something or I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna last much longer. I was gonna die. What we do here is focus on uh, personal accountability and responsibility and we provide a safe environment for the alcoholic and addict to find and build a foundation recovery. At 53 years old, I'm excited about starting my life over. I got my life back. I got my life back. I thank God every day for Welcome House. But those people are at that place is amazing. I mean, I have both of my daughters back, so yeah, and a grandson to boot. So. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> to come to a place like the Welcome House that accepts you, that understands that all it wants to do is help you get out of that scenario um, is just truly a miracle. Everything that they do here is 100% awesome. It's a blessing to be here. Uh, I love the place. They've helped me understand the 12 steps and really work through the program. No other place has been able to do that for me. He's back to being my, my son and I'm very proud of him.